Welcome to Meg's Weekly Tip. If you're advertising on Facebook, you may have heard about their Aggregated Events Measurement, or AEM, that came out earlier this year. This was a direct response to Apple's iOS 14.5 update. We'll cover it quickly for those of you who are wondering what it is and how it's impacting your advertising. We'll also give our recommendations for how to work with AEM. So what is it? It's a new way of aggregating and presenting data to advertisers about how their campaigns are performing. More importantly, however, Facebook now limits you to eight conversion events to optimize on. So for example, a click and an add to cart are separate conversion events. You'll need to order them in order of importance. Now, what does it mean for your advertising? Well, it means less granular data and just less data in general is going to be available to Facebook advertising. This means that audiences are smaller and that the AI will need to adapt to less data points and fewer conversion events. Our three recommendations are one, to start out with ordering your conversion events by the ones you think will give you volume while at the same time not being a vanity metric that Facebook will then optimize on. This will help make it so that your campaigns aren't stuck in the learning period for so long and you can start to adjust and optimize your campaigns. Two, we can still work off impressions, interactions, views, clicks, and other metrics that occur within the same app. So moving forward, optimizing on this data will be a safe option with sufficient volume to make decisions on. Three, incorporate first-party data into your mix. For example, if you have a list of users that have signed up or converted in the past, these can be used to build a retargeting audience. There's a lot more to it than this, of course, so if you'd like to learn more, we'll link some additional resources below so you can continue learning. Thanks for joining me today. Hope to see you next time.